sparkly teardrop breastmark ring tutorial with bonus heart necklace. Hi, I'm Nikki Kaminga and I teach people for free how to make keepsakes like memorial and breastmark jewellery. I make these rings and necklaces by hand from solid silver and they're also available as breastmark or memorial jewellery on treeofopals.com. I also sell them without milk on my website Keepsaker Supplies. I have other tutorials showing you how to preserve, dry and grind the milk to a fine powder. I already ground this client's milk a few days ago, then put it back in a sealed bag with some silica gel sachet. I did this to get the powder ultra fine by removing the smallest traces of moisture. Grind it a little bit more just before you begin. Put a small drop of resin on a piece of label backing paper, then add a bit of the milk powder and combine to make a milk paste. Put a piece of white tack onto something you can move around easily, such as an upside down ramekin. Stick your necklace setting on top and this keeps it in place. Add a very thin layer of the breastmark resin paste all around the base and the sides. Cure with a UV pen light or a UV lamp if you have one. About a minute is great. Whilst it's curing, you can work on the ring. I find clamping it in a pair of reverse action tweezers, also called a third hand, keeps it steady. But there are lots of ways of doing it. Some artists wrap sellotape around an egg cup and cut a hole big enough for the ring. And some pop the ring in white tack in a milk bottle top. So long as it's steady and easy to move, give it a go. Again, add a thin layer of the milk resin around the bottom and sides, then cure. Your second layer of the necklace can be a bit more translucent, so long as you can't see the metal through the milk at this point. Add clear resin, then swirl in some milk paste. I went for an opaque look here, so I mixed in the milk completely. Cure again. Pro tip, you can work with several pieces at once. You can technically do two clients orders at once, so long as they're very different pieces. For example, a breastmilk ring and a cremation usher's bead. This means you're always busy and not standing there waiting for pieces to cure. You must keep your workstation incredibly clean and use separate tools. Never work on two different clients' breast milk at once, in case you mix up the milks. Repeat the layers until you're nearly at the top. They can be as opaque or translucent or swelled as you like. The final few layers of this necklace will be clear resin. Sometimes I like to go off and do something else in between, so that pieces can cool down after curing each layer. This is important if the piece feels warm. Go grab a coffee, answer an email, or prepare the box to ship the order in. This ring is a mystery piece for my client, and I knew that they were a size J and gave no preference on colour. I wanted to add a pop of pretty and sparkly contrasting colours. I added a very, very thin layer of clear resin first. I chose the new apple green and violet silver holographic flex and place them with a small sparkle applicator. There's a link to all my supplies in the video description. Cure this briefly so the sparkles don't float up into the top coat. Meanwhile, add as many layers of clear to your necklace as you need. Then add the clear layer to the ring. I only needed one layer on the ring whereas the necklace took three. In the second layer, when the piece had finished curing, I noticed a few micro bubbles had popped on the top, so there were tiny dents. With the third clear layer, I blew carefully on the resin and waited a few minutes before curing, checking carefully for bubbles first. When your pieces are finished curing and cooled down, give them a polish with a silver polishing cloth before you wear them. You can add a chain or a dangle charm setting to the heart pendant. Whether you want to wear it as a necklace or in a European or large link bracelet. If you'd like a video on how to open and close jump rings with different kinds of settings, please let me know in the comments. 
I'm so grateful for my client's permission to film this anonymously as part of my series of courses to make Brassmark a memorial jewellery. Now, relax and do some crafting.